Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. NextID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies, or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange, which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development, while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. Hey folks, this is Sam Mowers. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto Corner, our last of the week. Today we'll talk about the spike in the market seen yesterday before a swift correction took place. And we'll look at Coinbase adding support for EOS, SBI, it's trialing in-store cashless payments, and IOSCO or IOSCO is seeking feedback regarding exchange regulation. So yesterday, Bitcoin briefly peaked at a trading price of $9,005 US before quickly correcting itself down to the $8,200 to $8,300 range for most of the rest of the day, according to data from CoinMarketCap. The total crypto market capitalization basically mirrored Bitcoin's trajectory, peaking at around $286 billion and then sinking down to a current total of $267 billion. Consequently, most of the top 100 coins listed by market cap are in the red going into the weekend, and at press time, Bitcoin is trading for $8,437, Ether is going for $261, and XRP for around $0.43. Cents. According to a blog post published yesterday, crypto exchange giant Coinbase is now supporting the buying, selling, storing, and trading of EOS. This latest addition to the platform will be available in most jurisdictions, but that excludes New York State and the UK currently. The blog describes EOS as, quote, EOS is a cryptocurrency designed to support large-scale, decentralized applications. There are no fees to send or receive EOS. Instead, the protocol requires EOS to use resources like RAM, CPU, and network bandwidth. It also rewards the entities that run the network periodically with new EOS, effectively substituting inflation for transaction fees, end quote. SBI Ripple Asia, which is a subsidiary of SBI Holdings, Inc., which is traded on the Tokyo Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol 8473, has announced the launch of in-store payments based on the firm's MoneyTap service. Initially, the service will be trialed as a demonstration test to note customer feedback before launching the full service within the space of a year. The announcement also reveals that SBI will promote the move to cashless payments through MoneyTap more generally. A loose translation of that announcement reads, quote, The SBI group will continue to encourage local banks and other financial institutions to participate in management as a shareholder of MoneyTap and will actively strive to expand sales of the service, creating a new local industry through cashlessization will contribute to the development of society and to the reduction of social costs, end quote. And the International Organization of Securities Commissions, or IOSCO, IOSCO, has issued a media release seeking feedback on the regulatory status of crypto exchange platforms. This is based on a more expansive consultation report published by IOSCO, the media release, however, outlines the concerns surrounding crypto asset trading platforms as they're rendered CTPs. Quote, Many of the issues related to the regulation of CTPs are common to traditional securities trading venues, but may be heightened by how CTPs are operated. 
where a regulatory authority has determined that a crypto asset is a security and falls within its remit, the basic principles or objectives of securities regulation should apply. The report, therefore, sets out that the IOSCO principles and methodology provide useful guidance for regulatory authorities considering the identified issues and risks, end quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.